Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9 series out in space at the Space Hangar. So I've got most of the interior of the hangar bay. Um, pretty much the way I want. I, I mean, at this point, you know, a little bit of painting here. Oh, I'm missing a light on this one. It's a little ghetto, but that's fine. Uh, you know what? No, it's not. Now that's going to make me tick and I need to fix that. So let's see <laughs> what we can do about that. And oh yeah, the shed worked out just beautifully and now I have access to and which we actually got to go and rename because that's base is stupid. And yeah, we've got lots of access here. Uh, there's my CV blocks. Do I have lights in there yet? No, but we've got lots of parts ready to go. And that's what we're going to be building today. <laughs> yes, we're finally going to be using the hangar to build. Uh, it's a beautiful thing when a plan comes together. Okay, let's get some, yeah, lights, lights. Uh, where the heck did I put those? I think they're still in the space hangar. The space hangar. Okay, where? Uh, nope, that's stupidness and where is the smartness there we go here we go yes lights actually I should probably attach to something we'll do the you know what you know what let's move let's let's move this well first of all I guess I should put this light up before we run away let's that's one of one of these I got my gun on me. There I do. Whoop, wrong color. There we go. Yay. <clears throat> um, okay. So that's good enough for like, I don't like that. I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that. That, that. That's just, you know what? I, I got to change it now. Now I'm looking at it. I can't stop looking at it. And, Thought I saw, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> and no, we want this. There, and a quick zap with the color tool. I haven't finished putting up the trim yet so but I'm not going to worry about that this episode I think we want to use the hangar to build with for what it was meant for and to build small CVs and SVs and stuff in so let's do that I'm going to move this out of the way I don't I don't know if I need to but I'm just gonna we'll take it downstairs we'll take it downstairs in the shed that we made. So I don't think I showed, I don't think I finished it last episode, did I? So here it is. With the other SV in it. Oh, by the way, I figured out why I never got close enough to be able to place the other starting Base right be adjacent to this one is because I was st the the Wi-Fi was just barely reaching beyond this point from where the Wi-Fi signal was. So I actually, if I had went in and removed that Wi-Fi, I would have been able to get this touching. I just and you know what in a in a maybe in the next alpha I'm going to be doing that as my. Um, Okay, so why can't we... What's going on? Here we go. Um, the next alpha, I'll be doing that probably through my playthrough. I'll be building multiple bases adjoining together to create an overall functional base that's all kind of self-contained that feels like one base. Because I found that the... The, the cargo containers are just 
super ex well they're not so bad now they've actually dummied it down quite a bit yeah 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 get out of that pew thank you and get out of here and here we are okay so i can either just fly up into there or we can this this is all gravitized now i don't know is gravitized <laughs> is that a, is that even a word i'm not sure <laughs> Anyway, we're going to go with it. It's gravitized. Okay. Um, and, oh, I can't quite. Got to have the jetpack for that. But at least I was able to get that to line up pretty good. So that's not, that's not really an issue. Uh, it's not like I'm going to die getting in the base, you know, because I, I should have a suit of armor. If I'm going down there without a suit of armor, I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know. That just pff, whatever. Weird. I've done stupider things, but that would be just I don't know. <laughs> uh, like for starters, why would I have no armor on, right? So let's find dead center. I think what we want to find is dead center. <clears throat> so. Yeah, we're getting pretty close here. Let's a little bit further this way. The reason why I want to do dead center is that's what I want to build out from is the dead center of the ship. Maybe a little forward, that's okay. Sticking out the sticking out is okay. But I mean, really I want to get I I really want to get fairly center to so if we just move over a little bit here, right about there, maybe, is that, no? Right now we're keystoned a bit here. Let's straighten out. Okay. That's straight. It's hard, it's so hard to tell. <laughs> okay, and then, I don't know, we're, we're looking pretty straight. I think right here. So, um, yeah, let's let's get get our sights straight, and then we're just gonna back up and place this thing. Okay, so let's do it. Let's grab the. Oh, we didn't rename it when we're down there. Oh well, that's okay. Whatever. I've got it clearly marked. And that's the great thing about having multiple bases is it's easier to navigate through your base sections as opposed to one base with a whole crap load of Wi-Fi stuff. So, like, I sh I'll probably make my garden a separate section now and just Wi-Fi the crap out of that so that you know, when I need food or whatever, my fridges, I have Wi-Fi access to that. When I need to go farm, I'll go farm it. It's, um, yeah, I might, I might actually move the farm off the hangar and put that on its own, its own, um, shed, a garden shed. I don't know. <laughs> a gardening shed. There we go. I got to make one of those. Uh, that's probably the next shed is the garden shed. But I mean, our garden we got going right now is way more sufficient than what we even need personally. So I'm not I'm not that motivated to do it. So uh, eh, I don't know. Okay, let's get this going. Let's quit the gabbing. So oh yeah, let's connect and get that on our toolbar, our Wi-Fi toolbar. So what I want to do is an octagon-shaped cylinder. Uh, similar to what my hole mole is, but I want to do it CV size and big enough to put a frickin' uh, 7x5 hanger out the frickin' back, okay? So it's going to be at least 7 wide. That's not that wide. It's really not that wide. Uh, and 5 high down the center. That's, that's actually pretty tiny. And the reason why I may want to make it fairly small, but still decent enough hanger, like a 5x7 hanger is actually decent for, for a couple of small vehicles. Um, 
my midsize small vessel right now that I have is a little too cumbersome. I think I've I have a smaller one that I built off camera, which I should have built on camera, but it was uh, I just I wasn't up to the uh, quality standards, let's say that how I was feeling at the time. I, I've, I've been a little bit under the weather and just, you know, haven't um, sometimes it's just it's just not inducive to uh, video recording, so to speak. <laughs> uh, OK. What else do I need right off the bat? I need that stuff. I need blocks. So I'm going to need I'm going to need to span out from the center. And I think what I want to do is we'll do. Do I do combat steel around the center? I do it. Do I do extensions? What do, why do I only have 12? I thought I'm. Oh, they're probably in the hangar. OK, so that's the one thing uh, your containers can only connect to items on your base. So so like my my constructors on one base can't share another base's cargo. It doesn't it won't work like that. You don't get that available as a drop down selection from your like I'll show you. So we can go into the advanced constructor. You, you don't you only get you don't get the change the base or anything. Now, maybe they'll change that in the future. But right now, currently, you can only change what's currently on your base. So you only have access to what's on your base. So so maybe a separate. Um, I think I think how it will break down will be a a garden shed, a workshop shed, which will have um you know some cargo also and then like a, a cargo shed which is going to be like the hangar bay or whatever with a whole bunch of cargo so the workshop will have cargo but it won't be as so extensive it'll have enough to, to facilitate the stuff okay so let me stop gabbing and let's just grab the stuff because i'm boring myself I'm boring myself. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. And now we switch to I just wanted to show you guys that. You can't you can't go to a different base's stuff, even if it's within Wi Fi. It won't work like that yet. I'm not saying that's not gonna happen in the future. This is what we want here. Here we go. Okay. Uh it's just not currently in the game. And you know what? That's fine. Logistics is a new system for this alpha, and um, they've worked a lot of the kinks out. I actually personally really like it. Uh, I think it added another dimension to the game, uh, simplified a lot of the stuff. What else are we going to need right off the bat? Let's grab a stack of these. Let's grab all this stuff. So the reason why I made the shed is because I want to do this with my toolbar. Right? Like, I don't want to sit there and pull blocks apart and have, you know, 20 blocks of this and 20 blocks of that and 50 blocks. Like, what a pain in the ass. That's why I went and made some cargo containers that could literally hold 320,000 because, you know what? This one is almost full. Almost full. It was like 268,000 storage units. Yeah, 18. 0.6 kilotons, <laughs> um, which is insane, insane, but so be it. That's why I made this, because the other, I couldn't do this. I couldn't have all my blocks in one freaking container before. I can now. At a high cost of energy consumption. So... So that's why I made a different base with its own separate solar system or solar energy system. Um, solar system. <laughs> okay, should we? No, you, uh, you know what? We won't have to worry about that yet. I think we've got enough to start here because we're going to try and just get the hull made and it's going to be made out of, you know, here, let's just go with the big one right off the bat. Um, <clears throat> 
the exterior is all going to be made out of combat steel, and I just moved myself off center, didn't I? God darn it! Oh, actually, I'm not too far off center. Yeah, that's derping. Let's do this. I just don't want to have it too screwed up, and and then have to put like thrusters on it to straighten it out just to keep building it because that would be pretty pathetic okay let's see yeah i was also going to potentially get the other thing going at the same time you know what let's get this started uh let's get this started okay um now, we want dead center, right? And I can see right now that it's crooked. So that means I'm crooked. Right? Okay. So we'll just straighten out a bit. Because that could, that could be way off from where I want by the time it it gets to near the end of the ship. It could be get, getting into the base. It could be clipping into the base, and I don't want that. So let's see if this is good here. We're going to level off again and take a look. And let's get this. Oops, come on. Come on. There it is. And that's looking better. It's not quite as crooked. Still a little crooked. Still a little crooked. I think I could probably live with that. I don't want to piss around too much here. Let's, okay, so now we want, whew, so we're right in the dead frickin' center. Let's do it right here. Here we go. Boom. Okay. And. Okay. Did. Yeah. I... Oh, it's still got that bug. That's fine. Um, you know what? What we're going to do really quick. What we're going to do really quick is I'm going to um, just reset really quick and we'll be right back. Okay, so let's get some, really? We're going to have some sort of artifact of a green glowy up there? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's fun. Um, so let's get rid of, let's, where are we here for? Yeah. So let's get rid of. First of all, let's turn on another light just to help us. Even though the, the light is not that bad in here now that I got all these freaking lights in here, it's actually not too bad. You can see pretty much everywhere that you're looking at. And with the shoulder light, it just adds that extra little amount. So it's, it's nothing's that dim anymore. So I like it. And, oh, you know what? I should have left that on. Let's um, leave this one on that side and we'll just trim these off these ends here because what what I need to do is I need oh what do I need how, how many wide do I need I guess I need uh, oh right I gotta re redo it oh that's fun that's fun that's Oh, I don't have to redo. I just got to grab stuff again. That's fine. Um, what else do I need here? And we can use these right now. So let's do that. That's five. Five. Okay, so we want a minimum of five wide flat on top and bottom, which translates out to... And we need at least seven wide down the middle. 
down the middle, dead middle, the hanger width is going to have to be seven wide, right? So, um, so let's start with that. I guess we could start with the hanger. You know what? No, I want to make the hull. So we'll do set. We'll do seven wide and seven high. I think I have to go higher than that though, because it's going to. We're going to climb one, two, three, four. I think it has to be nine. Nine by nine. I think it has to be a nine by nine. So that means four on either side. Now the length isn't as critical. Uh, I just want it to be long enough to be functional. Okay, so what I'm looking for is we need to build, I want at least a flat piece that's, I want to figure this out so it doesn't look stupid so that it has a good symmetry to it. So if we do, five wide here and then we start coming down from here on a sharp angle right because the it, we don't quite have all the blocks even though that we got a whole bunch of new blocks we don't quite have should I do a symmetry plane for this you know what? Not right now. That we're we're still ex we're trying to get the shape formed. So we'll just we'll just work on getting the shape formed first. See if we can get a nice symmetry. I, I don't. It doesn't have to be a perfect octagon, but I don't want it to look completely borked. We do five on each side. But that doesn't actually, does that give us, yeah, that gives us the seven by, we can get a, we can get a seven by five chunk out of that, tube out of that, or a square, I should say. Okay, so that's not bad. It's a little small. It's a little small. Now, if we widen it out, if we if we do one more block each side, I think. Yeah, that'll make that'll make the angled part um, the full length. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. That it's going to be a lot bigger. It'll fit in here though. Oh yeah, it'll fit. No problem. No problem. So let's do that. Okay, so. We're going to do one more block higher and deeper on and wider. So let's try this. And then, but we still want to do the five. So that's three, five, five. Okay. Um, and so this will be out one more. We're going to come down this time, the same thing. 
but it's going to take us it's going to take us more blocks to get there and therefore this angle portion is going to be more proportional right because if we do 5 here It's three, five, and how does that look? That looks perfect. Okay, so it's a it's eleven by eleven to give us a five by five to give us a five. I I'm not sure what I can't remember what the surface of an object with that of that plane, that plane of an object, the surface of that object, I forgot what that's called. I know in, in woodworking, it's like the, you know, the, the either the, the face side of like the clean edge or the rough edge or something, but it's not the same when it comes to geometric shapes. I know there's a name for it and I just don't know what it is. So I think this is how we can pull this off. We will do this. We will do this like that. So, okay. So now I think we need the symmetry key. Or let's, let's, uh, let's swap all this out with proper, with the proper blocks now as I wasn't actually using um, the proper blocks. So let's, now that we know the height there here, let's finish this off. We we'll use these are just the spacers. These are just spacer blocks, really. And we'll leave the we'll leave the core in the middle of them for now. It can just sit there floating. Okay, so I think that's the right amount. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four and five. Okay, and then this one. Four, five. Good. Okay, so that's looking good. So let's clear these out. I know this is taking me forever to do this, but I have a vision. I have a vision. Before getting too much further now do is we'll make a symmetry key or symmetry plane uh, right here so let's level out and uh, symmetry plane we want a YZ right in the middle of the core there okay So now our building will go much faster. So what we want now, so let's make the, let's make the five wide. And, oh, I think I got to remove this one too, right? Because this is the, F four, that was nine, and that wasn't enough, so 11. So yeah, so we gotta, we actually have to remove these and replace these with the, uh, with the combat steel. And yeah. Oops, that was the wrong one. <laughs> what did I do? Three, four. got all turned around. That's what I did. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm not sure why I over, I overdid it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, okay. 
so let's get this going. Um, so this is one, two, three that way, two more here, and oh, bloody thing. Got to be careful, it's exactly where your cursor is. So, my cursor happened to be hovering, not quite in the right spot, so. Okay. So now we'll bring it down. That one there. Connector block. Boom. Um, now should I put a block there just so that Just so it actually has armor, really, because, you know, that's kind of pathetic if I don't, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oops, come on. There we go. Uh, I always find this nice and relaxing out in space building. It just, it's just so nice. It's so nice. Okay. So that's our outer hall shape. <laughs> okay. Let's go crazy then. So we... Uh, how freaking long do I want this thing? I mean, realistically, how big do I want it? I never really thought about the length of it that much. I know there's a joke there somewhere, but I just, I just can't see it. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, this is working. Get this. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Down one. Come on. Oh, just, I'm too far. I can't see. There we go. Is that right? No, now it's too much. Too much. Come on, down and right there. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't want to screw that one up because with the symmetry plane, it's a double screw up, right? So then we'll pull this. And we'll get these along there. It's going to be the freaking simplest haul in the world, let me tell you guys. Let me freaking tell you. I mean, obviously somebody's done this already, so I'm not laying claim to this design because this is just a geometric shape. <laughs> it's not even it's not even a design. That's the sad thing about it. It's taking shape though. Okay, let's get the bottom decking in. Okay. 
Okay, so that's probably the hangar bay then, right? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put cargo down on this level, on this side. So we've got one, two, three, four, one five and then we'll have seven so that'll be our seven wide the only problem is it doesn't leave a lot of space for stuff <laughs> doesn't leave a lot of space for stuff Like, like no space. Like literally no space. Huh. Not sure how I feel about that. We're going to have space bottom and top, or at least the top, quite a bit on the top. We're going to have space on the top. Okay, here, let's, let's, put, let's put these down here. And then let's grab the, let's grab the hangar bay. Or the hangar uh, doors. Where are they? There we go. Um, so we want the five, seven by five. See, if we do that, we got no freaking space. See that? Except for above. We got a lot above. I think that's what we're going to have to. Ugh. There's going to be some hot spots in the hall, though, I think. Oh well. I think we can pull this off though, because what I want to do is put the two ginormous thrusters out the back. We might be able to do them up the top. Because I don't I don't want to lift that any higher. I don't want to lift the hangar bay of the CV any higher. Because we don't need it to be higher. I can just leverage the space around it here, especially up here and at the back here. See, there's this is going to have two full squares there before um, before the roof of the hangar even. And that's two full squares there. So I could put the two thrusters right there. Oh, beauty. I was I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to fit these, but I think I can now. Um, it tur The only problem is it adds quite a bit of e expense to it. But this is a level 25 CV I'm making with laser drills and it's going to be expensive for a restroom Zascosium anyway but this is probably going to be the only the only large um, thrusters I'm going to do though so it's it's not that big of a deal I think yeah so we do one there boom and the other side fits in and there's our back thrusters. We don't need any more thrusters out the back at all. Those will be quite sufficient. Okay, so I should be able to just um, fill these parts in here. Let's do that. We're just going to fill this in for now. I can always change that. That's the beauty of this game is... 
is nothing is permanent as long as you have charges in your multi-tool. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty plain. I know, guys. I know. I know. This is a mining vessel. Keep in mind. It's okay. It's okay. I like it so far. It's fine. It's fine. Um... Okay, so that's the hangar area. I think we've got squared away. We should be able to... The only problem is I need to actually continue this as wall here. I need to continue this as wall. So I'll do that out of um, cargo stuff. But the, the problem is, is it's going to reduce where the thrust... I'm going to have to put thrusters out the top then on an angle. We can do that. We can totally do that. That's, that's fine. We can do the thrusters on the angle, top and bottom, actually. There we go. Problem solved. It's just that I was too much of an idiot to see... How to fix it at the time. So I think that... Oh, the bottom we won't be able to. That'll be a burn zone. But the top we can. We'll, we'll be able to throw thrusters out the top here. Yeah. Okay. So I think I think we're fine there. Uh, let's continue on this side. And we'll finish off the hall and call it an episode. Next episode we'll end up uh, continuing on. So let's... Let's... Pull this out further. I'm not even sure how far I need to do this. I probably don't need to do it any further. This is, although it's looking a little stubby. Let's let's get it a little bit longer, a l just a little bit. Okay. There we go. That'll be proportional. That looks. It won't be too stubby. And you know what? The stubby, the stubbiness is whatever. It's, um, I don't really care. <laughs> I just, it just don't matter. Okay, let's do this. Fill this in. This will be our quick, dirty haul, CV haul. Uh, really unimaginative, unimaginative, but I found that the design really works well on my hover vehicle. So, pff, you know, why not put it to use on? What am I doing here? Come on. Put it to use on a uh, patrol, or uh, not a patrol vessel, a capital vessel, because the capital vessel and hover vehicles are very similar. And what they do in function wise, one's just quite a bit larger than the other. And can't shoot its amazing turrets in atmosphere, but but whatever. We won't get into that. I know it's a balancing issue. Um, okay, so let's we'll just pull this across. And to right. One more right there. That looks like it. Yep. Okay. We can just flip this side and do this side there. And one more. Okay. <clears throat> Get the stop jolting. We're getting some frame rate hits here as the memory starts I don't know actually I have no idea because if I check the stats of my rig right now it would be all in like 10-15% so because this thing is way overpowered to do this sort of stuff it's this game doesn't really tax my machine that badly it's, it's some sort of some sort of game engine leak or some memory leak or something I don't know because the uh, although I I've played other Unity games that don't do this so hmm, whatever 
Okay. So, I know, unimaginative, but this will be a better, a better uh, vessel for our needs right now, because right now the dart isn't working for me. It's just not working. It's not doing it. Um, okay, so we have we have the hangar portion here. And then I guess we'll seal off the front. How are we going to do that? We are going to taper the whole thing. So let's taper the whole thing first. I should have tapered the back end too. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll go back and do that later. I can do that later. But what I mean by taper is we're going to... No, come on. There. So we're going to go like this. And like this. Come on. Nope, not, oh, come on, just, just, really, come on, garg, <laughs> for some reason it didn't want to go do that, but, uh, okay, and then this one, okay, and then we put these ones in. There are the little, little spiky bits. Where's my spiky bits? Um, is that you? Is that you? I think it is. Looks like it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. And then that'll go there. And again there. Do that here. And that'll go there. And again there. And wow, we are way past the length of this episode, what it should be. So I'm going to call it here. And next episode, we are going to continue to work on this thing. But it's, it's obviously taking shape. <laughs> The outer hall is done for the most part. We'll get the we'll get the front of it finished off. We'll get the we'll get the we'll get the uh cockpit and all the engines installed probably and probably the uh warp drive, maybe the um drills and weapons. We probably won't get much in the way of the interior done, but we'll get we'll get the rest of it pretty close to ready um so yeah there we go so far that's the way she's gonna look i gotta go taper the back i'll do that off camera and finish that off camera so next episode we'll continue working on this until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day